Hey, what's going on guys? So I just posted a video recently where I had a, did an unboxing of the um, N64, oh, Voltars N64 RGB uh, kit. So I felt uh, ambitious and I decided to uh, give it a go. And I was able to uh, complete the mod and I did a, well, a good job as far as, uh, you know, my uh, skill set goes. So the only the only mistake I did make and it's just cosmetic and you won't see it um accidentally burned the shielding there <laughs> but um that's a sink and then we got RGB right here um the kit was uh the mod was pretty simple um you had to remove these three components uh right there for uh C22 and R1. Um, I just used, uh, I followed Voltard's video, he has a video on this exactly. Um, you just add solder to each of the solder points and you can use the soldering iron to uh, remove it. Um, same with here, you have to remove R15 and R16. And there is, for sync, there's a via there on R16 that you have to attach that to and you attach it right to um, sync here. RGB, same thing, uh, R8 through 10, um, you have to attach these vias. Alright, so, uh, meet me back in a second and I'll show you it in action. Hey guys, uh, back again to show the N64 in action, so we got it kind of ghetto rigged right now. Um, so, just going to try out this uh, Japanese copy of uh, Banjo-Kazooie I picked up in the uh, in Japan. <laughs> it was just uh, quick and easy to get to, so I turned the PBM on. And the geometry is bound to be um, off, I kind of notice, with uh, every system here. I've had to come up with uh, different numbers for the horizontal the horizontal center, the vertical center, and uh, horizontal and vertical size. So let's turn the N64 on and we got it going through this uh, band ridge scar switcher. So as you can see it uh, turns on just fine and uh, it looks stunning. I know a lot of people give the uh, RGB out of the uh, N64 a lot of flack but let's turn this down. Uh, but I feel uh, a lot of that flack is because of uh, how these uh, how this system looks uh, when it's upscaled to 720 and um, 1080p. Um, I, I think it looks stunning when you have it in uh, 240p with your uh, scan line, so... You know, these cameras aren't the best at capturing this quality, but... It looks awesome, so... Yeah, and a big uh, big shout out to uh, to Voltar there. He really hooked it up. Um, I'll be doing a video on the SNES Mini RGB mod as soon as I get one of those in, and I really appreciate him including one for free. Um, yeah, so you know, look out for some more RGB videos in the future. I would have done a full video on how to how to do the mod, but Voltar. Um, explains it a hell of a lot uh, better than I do and how I used his video to do this so I felt that a bit unnecessary catch you guys later